So I first joined Shark Wing Sketch Comedy, I think spring semester of my junior year. And I was like, I found my people. Because it was crazy to me that you could like, actually, everyone, everyone was like professional, but it was so fun and funny. And you can like put your best work into making just like the most bizarre things ever. Because we write our own sketches and then we perform them. And that's like the dream job, I feel like. And then I auditioned for Improv Athens that semester and also joined that. And then this fall we created uh, Lady Parts Improv, which is an all-female improv troupe. So my place is like, for sure, I'm always in the theater building interacting with the improv people. Oh my gosh, this is a cool story. Uh, Shark Wing came actually from a guy who graduated from my high school, because I'm from Athens. And at our high school we had an improv sketch troupe called Chicken Wing. Chicken Wing Theater. I don't know where that came from, but he graduated Harry Valentine, and he created Shark Wing at UGA. So it was like the more intense version of Chicken Wing. I love talking about Lady Parts. Um, <laughs> we created Lady Parts to like fill that gap and be a place where women could come and be comfortable, like teaching each other comedy and practicing and taking risks together, and then also a space where younger girls could come in and learn and like learn and fail but like a safe space to fail, but they could like strengthen their comedic improv chops. There are so many brilliant um, comedic people. Louis C.K., just along the vein of like being subversive and feminist and stuff, like when you're improvising, not improvising, when you're like doing comedy, he like has the best jokes that kind of crack down on people's crap. Like, especially like, he has like a bunch of like white privilege jokes too, and mm -hmm. I feel like, people watching will be like, oh yeah, we like, privilege exists. And he's just so good at like making you laugh and like acknowledge stuff like that at the same time. My greatest goal once I graduate. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's scary. I feel like like a fictional show like 30 Rock or the Mindy Project. Or something. Okay. That would be fun. Cool. I just feel like it'd be fun to go somewhere for a while and just like make webisodes with your friends and, you know, party. Party. <laughs> yeah.